What's up guys? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jeremy. I'm the owner of a clothing brand called L3 Apparel and today I'm going to show you guys a little step-by-step -step tutorial slash guide of how to upload your t-shirt designs to Printful's website. In this video today, all I'm going to talk about is shirts, but I did do a video last week talking about hats. So if you are curious about uploading your hat designs to Printful's website, I'll link that video below. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so the first step is gonna be head to Printful's website at printful.com. Once you get there, the homepage should look something like this. And then at the top, where you see the menu right here, you wanna click on products and pricing, and then click on shirts, or click the view button right under shirts. And once that loads, you want to go down here to this menu and click on guidelines. And then depending on what specific shirt you are looking for, um, for this tutorial, we're just gonna do a normal, say like a adult size medium unisex shirt. So for that, we would go under where it says men, women, and youth t-shirts, scroll over here to sizes, and the bottom option right here will say men, unisex, small and larger. So that's what we're looking for. And then you'll see next to it, it will say what the max print area is, which is 12 by 16. If you're looking for something else, like you want to design something for a sweatshirt, you would find those guides right here, or the templates. That's where you download those. Uh, tank tops, same thing, crop tops, and so on. So just find whatever product you're looking for and uh, make sure you get the size right and then download the uh, template for that specific product and that specific size. But like I said, for this tutorial, we're just gonna do a normal adult, say medium t-shirt, unisex shirt. Uh, so the max print area is gonna be 12 by 16 and we're gonna download this template. All right, and once you open, or once you uh, download the t-shirt folder, open up the folder, and then double click on t-shirts, double click on templates, and once again, the size we're looking for is 12 by 16, so click on that, and then if you're using Photoshop, uh, for this tutorial, once again, just like the hat tutorial I did, I'm gonna use a program called Inkscape, but if you are using Photoshop, you'd wanna use this file right here but I'm gonna use the .png file open that up in Inkscape alright and once I have that opened up in Inkscape it will look exactly like this so if you're using Photoshop or Illustrator you'll see at the bottom it says to turn off the guides once you're done with the graphics and click on the little eye icon to turn off the layers you don't have to worry about that in Inkscape and honestly the only reason I'm pulling this up is to show you guys once again that basically all this template really says is your maximum graphic size is 12 by 16 which is 12 inches by 16 inches which is the same as the max print area that your design can be on that you know whichever t-shirt you're putting it on so another thing you can do what I like to do uh, for t-shirts to make it easier is just make your own little 12 by 16 rectangle so come up here to the top change the px to inches and then width we will make it 12 height 16 and there you go that's your max print area right there I also when I'm working with Inkscape like to work with the guides so I'll pull one down to the top and bottom as well as both sides and there you go this area right here is the area that you have to work with for your design so whatever your design is no matter what it is as long as it fits in this rectangle you're good to go and it will show up fine on your final product all right for this example change the opacity of a rectangle to 100 so it's a dark red and 
you know, actually we'll just do pretend it's a black shirt and we'll just do something really simple like a quick little text design. All right, not my best design work, but we're just gonna keep it simple like I said. So once you have your finalized design, make sure that it is centered. Now there's two ways to do this. You can either save it and export it with the uh, rectangle behind it, and therefore just export the uh, 12 by 16 print area to uh, Printful's website. The good thing about that, if you want to do it that way, is you can pick exactly where you want it to be, where you want your actual design to be within that print area. Uh, your other option is to just export it, the design by itself. It doesn't really matter too much, but if you do it by itself, then you just got, once you uh, upload it to Printful's website, you got to worry about trying to uh, figure out where you want it on the shirt and in my opinion I think it's a little bit easier to just do it on the uh, rectangle and then export the whole print area that way I think you have a little bit more control over where your design is uh, vertically and horizontally depending on what the uh, specific design is but anyways uh, so say we want it maybe like right here you know close to the top of that print area We'll select both, make sure that it's centered on the vertical axis. We don't want to center it on the horizontal axis because if we do, it's going to put it in the middle of the rectangle and that's not where we want it on the shirt. We want it to be, at least I want it to be closer to the actual breast of the shirt. All right, so a big thing you are going to want to remember before you export your final design, go back to Printful's website where you downloaded the template and scroll down a little bit and where it says right here must follow print file guides make sure you read all six of these bullet points right here and make sure that your design meets all of those guidelines if it does you can export it and upload it and you should be good to go but if it doesn't do what you need to do and then once you've met all six of these bullet points all six of these guidelines then go ahead and upload it Oh, let's go ahead and run through them real quick though. Make sure graphics do not exceed the maximum print size. We already checked that. Follow dimensions and uploading. Please maintain dimensions when saving and uploading Printful. Remove guidelines when saving. Uh, color, make sure the print file is set in RGB color space. If you don't know how to do that, right here where it says see video tutorial, go ahead and click on that and it will show you. Uh, number four, background. This is a big one. Like I was saying, I like, personally, I like to uh, export my files to Printful's website using their whole little print area. So I always export it as, if I'm uh, doing shirt designs, I always export it as a 12 by 16 file. But you gotta, if you're gonna do that, you need to make sure that the background is transparent because if it's not, and if you upload like a, or if you export like, you know, this design right here with the, black background and you put it on a black shirt the computer is going to think that you want the black ink on the shirt as well so it's going to look a little weird because you're going to have a black rectangle a black 12 by 16 inch rectangle on the shirt as well that's probably not going to match the actual black color of the fabric all too well so because of that you just want to make sure that the background is transparent if you don't know how to do that for Inkscape you go down right here where it says fill you double click on that and it will open up this little box right here and then go down to where it says opacity and just drag all the way down to zero and from there you can go up here where it says file click on that scroll down click export bitmap and this box will pop up now before you export it go back to Printful's website 
and read the other two bullet points. Number five, all fonts should be converted to outlines so you don't have to send over the font files. If you don't know how to do that, once again, just click on the link for the video tutorial. But the only reason you will need to do that is if you're working with fonts that are not very common, um, which I am. This font right here is not a common font. It's one that I downloaded from a different website. So if you have fonts that you've downloaded from other websites like uh, dofont.com or any other font websites or you got it from somewhere else you're gonna want to make sure that you go ahead and follow number six and convert your font to outlines just in case Printful doesn't have those font files on hand all right now that we knocked out number five number six which is another extremely important one is please submit your files in PNG or PSD which is Photoshop format of at least 150 dpi so go back to inkscape and you'll see so let me redo it we'll bring back up this rectangle change the opacity back to zero and then go back to export and you will see right here it says 90 dpi now printful said it wanted it the file at at least 150 dpi so change that to 150 most files i just go ahead and put it at 300 and then once you change it to the dpi once you change the dpi so it's at least 150 or greater go ahead and choose where you want to save it and then export it now once it's exported go back once it's exported go back to printful's website and scroll to the top if you don't already have an account with printful you're going to need to make one and once you do make an account log into your account and then at the top you should see your username or your actual name which for me is jeremy so i'll click on the little down arrow right here and scroll down to stores click on that and then click on whichever if you don't have a store you're going to need to create one uh, for this example for this tutorial i'm just going to use the printful store and then click on new order at the top this button and then once again choose the store you want to use this is the store for my clothing brand I'm not going to use that so I'm going to use the little printful store I made for the tutorial and then make sure you click on sample order over here at the left now after you do that click on add product click on shirts if you are designing for a t-shirt go ahead and click on t-shirts and then choose whichever t-shirt you want to use. Um, my two favorites are this Bella Plus Canvas 3001 shirt right here and the Next Level 3600 right here. Now the reason I most of the time will choose the Bella Plus Canvas is because you'll notice there's a lot more color options but depending on what color t-shirt you want to use is going to you know factor into your decision on which one you choose um, for this example we'll go ahead and choose the bell plus canvas and we want a black t-shirt size medium and then since the design that we created is supposed to be on the front of the t-shirt you want to make sure you choose the right location so you'll see where it says front front print under that click on choose file click upload and then wherever you saved your print file you want to find that double click on it and then it should upload it now once it uploads it scroll over it click on choose and you'll see it pop up right here and then you'll actually see it pop up on the t-shirt on the up in this little box right here as long as this right here where it says print quality as long as it says good you're good to go it will say good and 300 dpi but if it's under the 150 dpi that printful wants then it i think it will say bad but it definitely won't be green so if it's not green you need to go back and change dpi to make sure that's 150 or greater and then re-upload your design now like i was saying i like to um, export my files as the max print area the 12 by 16 if i'm working with uh, adult size t-shirts because once you upload the file you can see when you drag it around that you can't really move it anywhere you can't move it down you can't move it to the side because it's already at that max print area so all you can do is click on the vertically center click on the horizontally center make sure it's centered and that's pretty much exactly where we want it on the t-shirt so for this design I don't have any a back print 
I'm not going to use an outside label or an inside label. If you do, obviously, if you want something on the back of the shirt, make sure you upload that file here. If you want a custom size tag, you would upload that file right here where it says inside label. If you're interested in making your own size tags, I will do a video on that in the future. I'm not going to include it on this video, but it's basically the same process. You just want to find the uh, template on Printful's website for the inside labels. Make sure your design fits in that template, follow all those guidelines, and then upload your artwork file right here. But for this design, this is basically going to be it. Let me go back and show you guys what the uh, art file would look like if we didn't export it as 12 by 16 and instead we just exported the actual design. So go back here and instead of selecting the whole rectangle, we'll just select the design. Make sure it's 300 dpi. We'll export it and then go back to Printful's website and scroll over where it says front print, change the file, upload the new file, and once I select it, you'll see up here, you see how it moved down? Now you can see when you drag it around, it's a lot smaller. It's not the whole rectangle anymore. All you have selected is the design. So if your design file is just the size of the actual design, you just gotta make sure you kinda drag it to wherever you think you want it on the t-shirt. And after you do that, make sure it's horizontally centered wherever you want it. And after everything is how you want it to be, go down to the bottom, click on the continue button, and it will take you to the shopping cart. Now since you're just ordering this uh, t-shirt design as a sample for yourself, you're not gonna wanna mess with the retail box right here. But if you were designing a product to sell to your customers for your clothing brand, this box right here is where you would enter the markup. So say you wanna sell the shirt for, it's gonna cost you $12.95, but say you wanna sell it for 20 bucks, that's where you'd change it right there and it would show up on your website. If you had your website connected to Printful, it would show up as a $20 t-shirt and you would make $7 off that t-shirt. But like I said, since we're just ordering this as a sample for ourselves, we're gonna wanna make sure that nothing is in that retail box so that you're only charged the $12.95. Once that's done, you'll notice right here at the bottom you get a 20 percent discount because it's a sample order that's why you want to make sure that you select sample order now scroll up to the top again make sure all of this information is right make sure you have the right t-shirt the right color the right size you have the right artwork file and if everything's good to go scroll down to the bottom click on continue to shipping right here and from there all you need to do is fill out your shipping information and go ahead and place the order and there you go that's pretty much it guys it's pretty simple pretty straightforward but it can definitely be a little bit confusing the first time so if you had any questions hopefully this video helped you guys out a little bit like i was saying earlier if you have any questions about printful hat designs be sure to check out that video below and if you had any questions about this video let me know about those below as well uh, either way though i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching enjoy the rest of your day and stay limitless Take your shots, you got everything you'll ever need You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed Those knots, they got you, are only make-believe